right. Welcome there. It's another very wonderful um, Tuesday evening. I'd like to welcome all our esteemed viewers all over the world who are watching this program now. To today's edition of the program, Plan Watch Related. Of course, uh, you know that every Tuesday we are always related, and then it has been broadcast on Friday at 9 a.m. My name is Festus. I learned her so much today as you were. We should be doing before you. We have uh, some of these uh, hard stories, very hard one, that we keep saying. If you don't have the heart to help this program, never mind. You can't take the eyes off the television and wait for people to just do tomorrow morning. How it all happens. But it's a very hard program, and they uh, just get it. So we mind, you know, doing the presentation so that we don't have. Uh, have to uh, while you're watching the program. Well, it's an educative one. We we'll bring you uh, updates of uh, criminal activities. We we'll bring you updates of how the police are bringing them down. We we'll also bring you updates of how the judiciary too are also taking taking decision as far as uh, some of the suspects the provided by this program are concerned. We have some of these stories here which have to do with uh, kidnapping and we also have a story that uh, has to do with murder. These are all people having the recording of our presentation here today. Let's take a short break now. The program can be related. We'll be right back after this time out. because we don't really have enough time. we we'll just be able to see how best we can manage our time today. we we'll go straight back to the first story which has to do with uh, uh, a partner of the six people who is into hawking. Uh, according to the report, she actually got little money, bought some items which has to do with drinks and uh, a bottle of water. Uh, started trekking all the way from New to towards uh, the Bahia where she was going to sell them only for her to be robbed. That's not going there. Sad one. Very sad and precise. Let's have that story now. Narrating her ordeal in the robbery incident which happened between Jemila and Tembuga Road's junction on Ikuba Hill, blessing Osamegi who hawked soft drinks and was spotted sitting helplessly on the medium of the ever busy road said, Two young men in an Audi car called her with the hope that they wanted to patronize her. She explained that after they had picked two of the drinks, they asked her if she has change of 500 naira and when she brought out the money in her possession with a view to sorting out the change, they snatched the money which amounted to over 7,000 naira from her and drove off. And they say they go this side, so they go call me for a wood, whether I get change of 500. As I want to give them change, and they just say, I'll tell them for my hand, and the money for me, and I'll never pay. Blessing Osamigi, who is the primary six pupil of Victory Primary School, was consoled by the new school and other sympathizers who assisted her to assemble and wash the drinks that were scattered on the road, occasioned by the robbery incident, to continue her talking. Seven thousand naira don't go. 
joined with the Jews and every other thing they collected from her. Sad one, and you know, I'm not going to say you guys want to give, you know, and uh, that's why we want to appeal to all our esteemed viewers, whether you are watching this program from right now, all over the world, those who are joining us on YouTube or Facebook, or those who are watching us on the terrestrial television, please see how best you can join us to support this little girl. So we have just opened a little window for people who are willing, or who may be willing, to support that little girl to a great near her local business. Uh, she's a parent of six people, and then she decided that uh, let her go into a little hockey so she can be able to make ends meet. That's why we got her. And now they are stolen her capital, which is 7,000 naira. So very sad one. So we want to appeal for to all our esteemed viewers, wherever you are, see how best you can support that little girl. Get close to us on this program. Of course, we will able to uh, locate the young girl because we are already established the contact where she is, the phone number, and every other thing. So when you come to us, if you want to go to school, we can take you there. If you want to pass any message to us to the young girl, please feel free. And if you want us to announce a message, trust us on this program, we shall announce whatever donation or whatever support you want to make. This is the first time all the years I've been on this program. I'm trying to raise really support for anybody. We don't do it here, but I think I'm touched with that 7,000 error reliable incident. So let's leave that for another day, and I hope that all our viewers who are watching this program right now we want to make a contribution. If you want to do, do you have my personal numbers? You can call me, and then if you can also, if you don't mind, you can also reach us. You can even walk to every book as a service newsroom and say, This is my widow's mind, and then you drop it down. We say thank you. Away from that, now let's go to this other big story. This one has to do with um, the case of kidnapping. You know, the city. According to former Commissioner of Police uh, Chris AZK, he said it's a gateway state, but criminals want to use it as a get away state. So you can see the difference. Gateway state, get away state. And he said, the police say, you can't come here and get away. He said, let you come to a gateway state. So, therefore, some suspects who have been barricaded the the that class were burned and one was fatally wounded. And trust us, we went right into the bush to bring this story to your doorstep. Let's have that story now. This is the Bini Bypass in Edo State, which links major express roads going to both the north, west and eastern parts of Nigeria. The traffic on this bypass is always high, but there are some black spots on the bypass where criminals unleash men on innocent travelers. The situation First, the Edo State Commissioner of Police, Johnson Babatude Kokumo, to design a new strategy to combat criminal elements on all the highways connecting the bypass. This weekend, some heavily armed hoodlums, numbering five, barricaded the Aron Uta end of the bypass. The hoodlums, who came out at about 6.30 a.m., forcefully intercepted every motorist moving through the routes. Such motorists including the occupants of the vehicle, are usually rolled on the spot while others are kidnapped into the bush. It was revealed that the Williams intercepted a passenger bus with 18 persons and kidnapped all the occupants into the bush. Policemen from a bad division and some strike forces of the Edo State Police Command, who were on a decoy patrol, rammed into the kidnapping scene. Upon sighting the policemen, the rulers opened fire, forcing the police to retaliate. This suspect, however, fell to the superior firepower of the police. The suspect, who is from Kaduna State, however, spoke through an interpreter. Who bring this gun? Yeah, so that they can't be big at Kiko. Yeah, so that they can't be big at Kiko. See, now, I bet you know about this. How many guns were carried today? Maybe go to Kaduna and go to Kaduna. It's only this one that is so. So, I'm police control town. Why are you asking the person to hold them? It's because I mean, the line, the lamp, the car, the media, when you are eating, the car, 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 the car
DSP chief, the one who said the body is yet to be properly identified as no one has laid claim to it. He said the police were alerted by the people of Idokma of a decomposing body in a plot of land in the locality. DSP one who stated that men of the Zone 5 police headquarters have already commenced investigation into the incident, assuring that the police will get to the root of the matter. He called for calm among the people as the police will deploy every A transporter in Ekboma, Edo State, was allegedly kidnapped by some gunmen in the locality. The victim, who was abducted at about 7 p.m., was ever taken into a forest in Ekboma. It was revealed that the suspected hoodlums had earlier shot sporadically into the air before abducting the said victim into the bush. They either opened a ransom negotiation to the tune of 5 million naira. The family of the kidnapped man then contacted the police in the Boma division. Members of the Vignati group were then mobilized to join the police to comb the forest in search of the kidnapped man. But upon searching the police search team, the hoodlums opened fire. But this suspect, identified as Yusuf Ismaila, fell to the police bullets as other gang members escaped. The victim was then rescued on hot. The suspect, however, spoke to an interpreter. Do you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Say my name is Yusuf. Where is he from? Where is he from? Kano. It's from Kano State. How long have you been in the day? She can't have been in the day. Let's talk about the day. My mom is talking about the day. Say you just removed him to the day. Why can't you have been in the day? Why can't you have been in the day? So he came to look for work himself. Okay. How did he start kidnapping? Yeah, because what a kidnapping. The best plan when I was a baby was that. So when the baby was a girl, when that one girl was like in the army, when when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl was like in the army, when that one girl Eto, mau mau kembali ni dia dah nak fikir semua kau fikir je. Semua kau dah dah nak fikir ni je. Ayah ayah kau nak kau nak awak semua. Siapa tiri of the nephew kena puma? Nenek. Nenek. Dawa dawa. Eto saya orang yang sangat suka nak cuba. Ibu anak Muhammad si nak uli dah Muhammad ni kau kah dia. Muka pun tu dia pun bersih dah. Hamba udah buku tu. You say in mid the next day morning inside the bush. They tie the man down. I thought you were going to go to the bush. I thought you were going to go to the bush. So they tie the man. Now, as can say, which role will you play for the kidnapping? Can you not call on kidnapping? Say you only went and fresh water. Okay. Then this thing you hold. What did the user do? What did the other guy do? I told you, I was doing this because I was studying. Say I do what they tell you, study face. Tell me, tell me also. Tell me, I can't do this. Tell me, tell me also. Nah, I'm not going to do it. You see, this is the way they tie. Let me try again. Ish kuma. So you see, this is the way they tie the victim. Okay. So that you will not see their face. Tell me your name. Chelishi. So how they caught the prisoner before bullet come hit him? Right there. Yeah, I can't even do that, sir. Mika. I know that in that I have been given new bread. The person with the nice face is not getting any more. Is it that you want to know nothing more for that thing? Okay. You see, when you want to. So when you want to fetch water, now one of them bring that gun. One of whom? One, one of the men bring yeah. that gun. Come see, make him go fetch water. Come. Yes. So as he fetch water, come. The cut, the cut, the cut. Everyone may paru. But my grandmother, my mother, my dad, my dad, my husband, my uncle, 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 my
they call the penampo. Mm -hmm. See, as soon as they call the penampo, now you hear gunshot inside the bush. Yeah. See, now you go and you go and do the thing. Why are you happy? Let's go to the room. Why are you happy? Let's go to the room. 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 Let's go Yeah. Uh, as, as at that road, that was when Bulena met him when he was crossing road okay. to run to run that to run to the other side. He never knew that police have come even both side of the bush. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ask him where the bullet for hitting. I know bullet is America. Let me check you. Yeah. See all from his tumor. Okay, now you tell me now. Okay. Let me see. Ask him the area. I know. A chicken car. Oh, I took my hand and really called the places. He say his his hand, yeah. his stomach, yeah. and his private part with his knees. Yeah, like the bullet for him. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ask us how you call the fee now. You have to ask him. You have to get jeans. That's why I need to take my hand at you. Yes. You have to get jeans. I work at me. I don't know if you can get them. Just grab a pair. I'm not going to do it. Allah. He says for. To God, you know, he's, he's feeling bad and they didn't do, they didn't do well. Okay, ask him, so what if we have guys for your other friends now? No, we'll have to go to do kidnapping. I'm not going to go to the house. 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 I'm not going to go to Ini ni dah nusun saya ni amat tenang ni dah sahun dek cipara dari ahar ini dari azam onka. Aku tengah baca. Semua yang faham saja ini dia dia faham kopi. Semua ni. Tapi saya nak beli jangan saya. Saya nak jangan ni cik itu mana yang nak saya ni. Every time you see any of them, if if police go out again with him, if you see any of them, you point them out. They are just police or relations officer. They are the one who who confirmed the incident said. The chances of survival of the victim is slim as he was badly hit during the gun duel. One Joseph Patrick male of about 35 years old was kidnapped and taken to the forest. One of the suspects was uh, hit by a bullet. And he was arrested. Sergeant Lucky 
attached to the special protection unit, SPU. The adjusted police relations officer just received the one boozer. Again, confirmed the incident, but said the police has intensified its patrol on the road. The GT Plaza MD was confirmed by the State Police Command. In fact, that incident happened on the express road where uh, one uh, uh, Lexus Jeep and one uh, Highlander Toyota Jeep was found on the road. The inspector attached inspector and NCU, that is a police sergeant attached to that man, were immediately followed up and found on that uh, spot of incident while the NCU was uh, shot. Investigation is ongoing in that case and uh, as soon as the command come up with uh, uh, a good achievement on that, we will call him making no to the public. In a brief telephone talk with Edna Paris Omofuma, he expressed sadness over the killing of the police sergeants. All right, uh, welcome back there. Uh, we'd like to pray that uh, we be soon at uh, that uh, police sergeant. And the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in perfect peace. Rami died while in active service. That's how we like to help me describe that word. Fully kitted with helmet and everything, even you know, it is gone and all, but it's no more. Sad one there. Away from that now, we have two spider story. This one is still a very sad one coming from Udapa. Along the Binaj Road as well, in the Honda local government area, where an unidentified body was found in the parcel of land in that uh, uh, community. But now, the story that is the body was put somewhere and they are personally located. So, so many stories, so I know that dead body. So, I just decided with my crew to travel all the way to Indepa for an undisputed assessment of that situation. Let's have that story now from Uber Car in other states. DSP Chief Iwan Buzo said the body is yet to be properly identified as no one has laid claim to it. He said the police were alerted by the people of Idokwa of a decomposing body in a plot of land in the locality. DSP Iwan Buzo stated that men of the Zone 5 Police Headquarters have already commenced investigation into the incident assuring that the police will get to the root of the matter. He called for calm among the people as the police will deploy every investigative means to arrest the culprits and bring them to justice. The body of that uh, victim has been evacuated by the five reporters who is currently investigating as the case is currently ongoing. However, EBS TV News crew visited the crime scene in Idopa where it was observed that the person yet to be identified was first murdered in a spot a day after relocated to another place in the bush. Investigation however revealed that there have been disputes over the ownership of the land. A situation some persons in Idopa said must have led to the dumping of the dead body in the locality. They described the act as a setup. And Finally, this was where the body was now recovered by both the police and the oh, yeah. people of Eden Park. But for now, investigation, according to the police, is ongoing. However, the people are now calling on the police to carry out thorough investigation towards arriving those behind the act. I know I set up to Eden Park because due to the way they moved the dead body from there to another place, well, after some days, we come and find uh, that uh, there is another yeah. spot now inside the cassava farm for another person farm. Yeah. So it looks like set up. So the police, we are begging the police of uh, Nigeria police, yeah, police to help us yeah, to investigate this matter. So we called the, the uh, patrol team immediately. They came and we both the community came with them. They saw the dead body and they snapped it and they said they were going back to come and evacuate the body. But before the police could come back within one hour, 
the body was no longer found. How come? They, they said we have to go and report. Before we should go back to the police, we get an information that the same Diego Sabuka, who is a brother to the CDA chairman, was they drove in here Gang. with Siana with some gangs. So our uh, community people rushed down, coming to this place, they found the same uh, Gerba. They were able to help old uh, Gerba. But the, the other Siana, the driver, drove off. Well, after some days, when the team of police made that case from the IG, the dead body was found inside the Kakawa. Already the case. So right as we are talking now, the dead body is deposited in the military. Because they are set up. They were set up. Well, they cleared the land to say they are yeah. the yeah. the not their own. And the community land. The body has since been deposited in the notary by the police for autopsy and further investigation. Team in the partner Benicity Edo State investigation revealed that the body that is currently in dispute was first found in this spot. And uh, the police were actually here, but before they returned back to get the ambulance and other health officials to pick the body out of this scene, they didn't find it anymore when they returned. Thereafter, that prompted them to eventually comb the bulls towards recovering the body. But moment after that, the body was eventually recovered. But the question now is, who killed, who brought this body to this spot? This is now for the police to thoroughly investigate what will thereafter happen after now. to be identified and nobody around me come to say oh, somebody is missing so we want the police to dig deep and let us know who had been died who killed and why the person was killed that's the truth of the matter so police over to me because i'm told that a uh, uh, man of the assistant is the guy of police in five are already investigating so we'd like to have their come on this program very shortly but just us here we owe you the responsibility of the uh, effective failure of every story we broadcast here. The way from that now, we had another very big story. I guess we had enough time for this. Yes, sir, we still have some good time here. This one is coming in from the choir where a man decided to go and uh, purchase uh, a vehicle. And this time, he was cornered by some persons, and the man eventually was found dead at the bank of the choir river. Why was he killed? What happened? Let's go right now to the near the knee. The deceased, James Akwata, who is into quarry business, left home on 29th of last month to buy a second-hand car, but never returned home. A case of missing person was then reported at Okwai Police Division, forcing the police to institute a search party. But on the 29th of last month, some persons spotted a lifeless body at the banks of Okwai River and thereafter contacted the police and it was discovered that the deceased was the man earlier declared missing. He was found dead in his pool of blood, a situation which suggests that he was allegedly murdered. The assailants, however, took his mobile phone away. Through high technical means, the phone was tracked and recovered from Oroka Omanusa, who is an in to the deceased. Fearing from further investigation, one happy Oko Arima was also arrested. The suspects threw more light on their involvement. <laughs>
along the adult road. And then along the blue arch road, starting from the bypass, we have the Nava Sherry boundary with one there. And the river took it straight down after the hill. And thereafter, we have the Asian South, um, Asian uh, West, the start of Asian West, around that area, and the Ekman. And then we move further, we have the Asian Central, which is the area area. And then we move further from Asian Central, we have the Asian Central West. And thereafter, we move from the now the Asian Central East. So these are areas we believe that uh, when some of these government council chairmen come on board and then they will be able to meet among themselves and take up this idea of clearing the bridge around the express road. And that will help a great deal. And I know that uh, the police and other security agencies are already meeting and they want to ensure that uh, people travel on all these roads safely without any attack. Now we are there from the police and the other security agencies. Let's invite now Pastor Dr. Azema Azema, the court for this coming by, and uh, we will really have his uh, weekly advice to some persons who are thinking one, to adapt to new society, two, to commit kidnapping, or to commit armed robbery. So, whichever crime we have to do, Azema said, do not do it, instead, come to him, he will take care of the crime. Let's have him now on this program. Pastor Dr. Azema Azema, are you ready for him now? This is Dr. Azemi Azema, the very true son of the Oracle. I want to appreciate everyone who have created time to watch or listen to this program. God bless you, and I want to say thank you, Fessas Aleghe, for the good work you are doing. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Wonderful one, and broken one. Uh, it's, a, it's a moment I can't just fish out something. But I want to quickly beg the security agencies. We know you have been working, we know you have been trying. But between Bini Auchi Expressway, it's becoming a very dangerous zone. It's becoming a den of lion. It's becoming alarming. What is going on? Either robbery, either kidnapping, or the bend the security agencies. I know the CP has been doing wonderfully well. But I think we still need to do more. Uh, machineries, more men, more things in place so that we can stop this uh, kidnapping and robbery that is going on daily in Auchi, Epoma, the New Expressway. Uh, I want to also use this opportunity to tell those, if you are watching or you are listening to me, those who are perpetrating this evil, you will be caught, you will be arrested, you will be persecuted, you may be jailed one day for it. Why not use this opportunity to have a rethink and take off your hands from every criminal element or anything that will implicate you, or anything that will cut your destiny short, anything that will send you to send you to to prison? Why not take off your hands? This is why I'm using this platform every Tuesday and Friday to reach you to come to Omega Fire Ministry, Santa Richard 2, or 2 to 4, where you are that do our Edo State, Nigeria. Come and renounce your courtesy. Come as a kidnapper. Come as an armed robber. Come and drop your gun. Come and drop your, 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 your arms so that you can live a better life. Others have done it in the past and they were not arrested. So the security agencies have been working in, I mean, along with us giving you a soft landing that you cannot be arrested. So visit this Sunday, at, visit Omega Fire Ministry, Santa Region 2. Come and discuss with me, and your life will never remain the same. I will minister to you. I will pray for you. I will do deliver for you. I will encourage you to live a better life. And I know your life will never remain the same. And eventually you want to reach me on social media. I will give you my Facebook uh, a, a page, I mean account. I want you to just like our page and then we can chat and we can discuss. So just take your phone as you are watching me or you are listening to me. Just type, we love turning points with Pastor Azemi. We love turning point with Pastor Azemi. You will get me there. Just like the page and then we can talk from there. You can also go to my YouTube, turning points beneath. And then we can also, you can see 
I mean, you can follow me on anything that I'm doing, and you, your life will be transformed. So this Sunday, I will be waiting to welcome you to Media Fire Ministry. Crime will cut your life short. Cutism will cut your life short. Any forms of any forms of crime, they will terminate your destiny. Uh, they will cut your destiny, or they will useless your destiny. Why not take off your hands? Meet me this Sunday, and God will bless you. This is where I want to hand over back to Professor Saleke to run up the program Crime Watch Reloaded today for us. God bless you. We we'll meet again Friday, the same time, the same station. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Dr. Azana Azana for your little casting. May you have been very unhallowed um, in the day. This is where you get crime stories, hot, juicy, direct, and call it all. <sighs> this one is a uh, missing person, and I have not saying the uh, of police command has declared missing. One chica, Rick King, made of Ogre Foundation in the city, on the account of his wife, who report uh, that uh, he left home on Sunday, 24th of June, 2020, to an unknown destination, and since then, they are not found. Chica D. King is 46 years of age, dark in color, about 6 feet tall, who speaks English and other languages fluently. Every person who needs full information of his whereabouts should please contact the nearest police station or call police control room and telephone numbers 080. 